Hi guys, thank you for tuning into Cooking with Marie. I'm currently in Southampton for the bank holiday weekend and I decided to make a meal called spaghetti bolognese, also known as spag bol. I'm going to show you guys the ingredients I'm using. Of course, you could take away or add depending on, you know, your taste. So here I have my mixed peppers. I've got one medium sized onion. I've got one scotch bonnet. I've got some garlic cloves, seasoning, salt. Of course, I have my minced beef. I've got some grated cheese, mushrooms, chopped tin tomatoes, and spaghetti. Guys, I'm gonna be back when I finish prepping my ingredients. See you soon. Guys, I'm back with my ingredients that I've prepped. So here I have my mixed peppers, red, green, and yellow. What I did was I actually cut all of the pepper. So I used, you know, the whole of the green one, the whole of the red one, and the whole of the yellow one. It's not too much. I just didn't know what I was going to do with the rest of it. So I was like, let me use it anyway. But as you can see, it looks really nice. Like it just adds another twist and blend and your meal will be looking not only red but it will have like some color inside it so yeah i also have my onions that i've cut up like this they're like in slices basically if you can see i have some garlic cloves in there that i've also sliced up i used three garlic cloves and i used one whole scotch bonnet so that's what we have in here Inside of here is all of the mushrooms that I've cut up. Obviously, you don't have to use this much. I may not even use this much as well, but with mushrooms, they do tend to shrink when you put them inside food anyway. But you can just gauge it when you're cooking. And then I've got my beef here, which is just soaking just to get the blood out of it. I will drain it. And then when the time is right, of course, I'll add it into the pot. Okay, guys. My pot is heating up on the stove at the moment. So I'm gonna just sort that out and I'll be right back. I have my pot of oil, which is heated. Don't put too much oil in your pot though, because when we do brown the beef, it will also produce more oil. So don't put too much. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my onions first. Onions, peppers, and garlic cloves. I'm also going to add my peppers. This looks great. <laughs> I actually think this looks so nice. So, I'm going to let those fry. And then I'm going to also add a bit of seasoning just inside it, just so that this also has its own taste. You can add salt, you can add any seasoning of your choice, to be honest. I'm going to let this fry up. And then I will be adding my beef to brown it. I'm not going to add my mushrooms in this mix yet. I'm going to first add my tomato, tin chopped tomatoes in first before I add in my mushrooms because I don't want it to be too soft. I want it to still be a bite to it. So I'm going to add it in basically last after adding the chopped tomatoes. Guys, I'm going to be back when the beef has browned. So I'll see you soon. All right, guys, this is my beef that has been browned, as you can see. So I'm going to go into adding my chopped tomatoes this is two tins to be exact so you can go ahead and add it in what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this boil up for about let's say 10 to 12 minutes then I'm going to actually add in my mushrooms that I have here and yeah after that, I'll be back when everything has come to a boil. See you guys soon. Hello there, guys. So, I've added in my mushrooms. And as you can see, it's come to a boil. Take a look, take a look, take a look. 
So I'm going to keep this on for another, let's say, 10, 15 minutes. And yes, I did add another scotch bonnet. Because when I tasted it, I realised that I would prefer it more spicy. Um, but that's about it, really, guys. It's easy, quick. And it's quite cost effective as well. So guys, if you like this, try it out. Like I said at the beginning, you don't actually have to use the same ingredients as you. You could take some out or you could even add some in. It's really up to you. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Don't forget to be encouraged, be inspired and be blessed. Mwah. Love you guys.